Okay, as per your request, let's take a look at problem number, what was it, 57, problem solving. So before I get to 57, let's review example five, solving a multi-step problem. So this was the magazine problem, and it says a monthly teen magazine has 48,000 subscribers when it charges $20 per annual subscription. For each dollar increase in price, the magazine loses about 2,000 subscribers. How much should a magazine charge to maximize annual revenue? And what is the maximum annual revenue? So the solution to this is step one, define the variables and let X represent the price increase and R, repre R of X represent the annual revenue. So let's stop right there. That's step one in both. So, so I brought that over to pit number 57. So now let's take a look at 57 and let me highlight the important information in number 57. It says a restaurant sells 330 sandwiches each day. For each 25 cent decrease in price, the restaurant sells about 15 more sandwiches. So obviously the cheaper something is, the more people buy it. How much should the restaurant charge to maximize the daily revenue? So that's one thing we want to know, maximum daily revenue. And the other thing we want to know is what is that maximum daily revenue? Okay, so in this problem, I'm going to define the variables. Let X represent the price decrease. And let R of X represent the annual revenue. That can stay the same, okay? So then I go back to the example. Step two, all right? It says to write a verbal model. So I brought this over. Write a verbal model. Annual revenue dollars. Well, in this case, it's not annual revenue. Um, it's each day. Hello, I chose my pen. Each day. So daily. Daily revenue. Number of subscribers or people, well, this would be number of sandwiches, not sa people. So this is sandwiches. And subscription price is not going to be subscription price, dollars per person. It's going to be sandwich price. Dollars per sandwich. Okay. Dollars. per sandwich, okay? Okay, so then when I go back here, it says R of X equals, and they took this number of subscribers they have minus how many they're gonna lose per dollar increase. So in this case, I'm gonna say daily revenue, I'll still call it R of X equals number of sandwiches. Well, they have 330 sandwiches. And we're going to sell more sandwiches. So number of sandwiches is going to increase plus. And over here it was plus how many you're going to lose here. And how many more sandwiches are you going to sell if you decrease the price by 15 or 25 cents? And it's 15. Okay, so right here, 15 more sandwiches. 15 more sandwiches for every 25 cent decrease. So if there's one 25 cent decrease, you sell 15 more sandwiches. If it's a two 25 cents or 50 cent increase, you'll sell 30 more sandwiches and so on and so on. So there is our portion of number of sandwiches and we multiply that by sandwich price in dollars. And we know the sandwich price and the key here is in this diagram. I overlooked this when I was explaining it to a student in math lab. Um, this is a key to answering this problem. Why they didn't say it up here, they just threw it in a, because sometimes we don't look at the pictures in the book, but it's six bucks per sandwich. That's our starting price. So it is going to be and we're subtracting 25 cents per sandwich. So that'd be minus, actually, let me put that six first, six minus 25 cents per sandwich or per increase or decrease in price. If I decrease one quarter, 
and it's going to be 575 and I'm going to increase my sales from 330 to 345 if that's one. Okay, so this is our equation set up. And if you go back to the example, what did they do next? Okay, this is where we are right here. Actually, this is where we are right here. And from here to here, we just put the X's first. So we're going to rearrange this. So R of X is going to equal 15X plus 330. All I did was switch these to put the X's first times negative 0.25X plus 6. So I put the X first and the constant last, the X first, the constant last. And that is all that happened between these two steps here. And then finally, the third step, what can you factor out of that first term? And that will give you your two factors. So I'm going to take R of X equals. I can factor 15 out of both of these. Hey, Siri, what's 330 divided by 15? 330 divided by 15 is 22. Okay, so I factored out a 15, so it's 15 times X, 15 times 22 will give me this value here, and I multiply that by negative 0.25X plus 6. Okay, so all I am doing is following step by step the example, and now we are right here. So step three says to identify the zeros and find the average. So I need to find out what makes these two parentheses equal to zero, add them and divide by two. Okay, so what makes x plus 22? So I'm just going to show this x plus 22 equals zero or negative 0.25x plus six equals zero. So to get this equal to zero, I simply subtract 22 from both sides and I get x equals negative 22. And on this one here, I have to take and subtract six first to the other side, and then divide by negative 0.25. Well, negative 0.25 is a negative one quarter. So in order to get rid of a negative quarter, I multiply by negative four, because negative four times 25 cents is a dollar. Negative times a negative is positive, and I'd get one X. Multiply the other side by negative four, and I get 24. So now I got X equals 22 and X equals 24. And we take those two values, add them. So it's 24 plus a negative or just simply minus 22 divided by two. And that equals two over two, which equals one. Okay, so that is where we're standing now. We are right here. We just found this value here. We found the average of the zeros. Average of the zeros is to maximize revenue, each subscription should cost $20 plus what we get here. To max or maximize sandwich sales, we have to take and wait, what'd they do here? The original. Okay. The original cost of the sandwich, $6. And this is one, this is one 25 cent decrease. So that's going to be minus 0.25 times one, which is minus 0.25. And that will give me $5.75. So that is how much the restaurant should charge to maximize daily revenue. They should charge $5.75 for each sandwich. And it says, what is the maximum daily revenue? So if I come back here, what did we do last to maximize our step four, find maximum annual revenue, well, we're finding maximum daily revenue. You take R of that number and plug it into what we got on our last step down here. So I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna take R of one, equals, and I'm looking at this right here. So R of 1 equals 15 times 1 plus 22 times 
negative 0.25 times 1 plus 6. All right, so R of 1 is going to equal 15 times 23 minus, and I'm just simplifying all this, negative 25 cents times 1 is negative 25 cents plus 6 is five dollars and 75 cents we're almost done we're going to find our maximum revenue hey siri what's 15 times 23 15 times 23 is 345 minus oops it's not minus it's times my fault this is multiplication so it's 345 times $5.75. In other words, we're going to sell 345 sandwiches at $5.75. Hey Siri, what's 345 times 5.75? 5 345 times 5.75 is 1,983.75. Okay, so our maximum daily revenue, if we sell 345 sandwiches for $5.75 each, we will make maximum revenue of $1,983.75. Okay, so that's how you follow an example, and that's how you do a problem that is related to it. Hope this was helpful.